Japan Dino, the best of Japan to you. Howdy, this is Andy of Japan Dino, and I have for you a super sequential blow-off valve for the RB20 debt or RB25 debt engine. This is the Skyline specific flange on the bottom here, which just bolts on where the uh, stock blow-off valve is located and can be removed, and this bolts straight onto the same pattern and uh, location. The, via the uh, valve itself is a universal blow-off valve. This is a universal blow-off valve that can be used with any turbo vehicle, universal and adjustable, but the flange is specific for the RB20 or RB25 debt engine, Nissan. Okay, so the sequential blow-off valve uh, is made from billet aluminum, so it's, it's lathed from a solid billet aluminum, the, at least the outside body is, and uh, it is a diaphragm type blow off valve. It has a diaphragm incorporated in this area here, and so boost pressure from below combined with inner manifold vacuum that comes from this little nipple here. This connects to the inner manifold, pulls on the diaphragm. The diaphragm is resisted by a spring here, which the uh, strength of the spring is set by winding in this, this little bolt here and uh, holding it in place with a locking nut. So when the uh, boost is enough to overcome the, the uh, resistance of the spring, the diaphragm will move back, and it moves back in like a sequential manner and pulls a little piston here, which allows the boost to squeeze through the front, making that uh, distinctive HKS SQV sound. So it moves in a sequential little way. I'll show you the front here. This is where the boost comes out, of course. So this little piston gets pulled back, and the boost squeezes around the edge here, making that distinctive... Uh, more of a chirp than a swoosh sound that the SQV is famous for. So as you can see, very, very tidy from the front, not so tidy from the back, quite a few marks and stains on, on the back of the unit, um, but in good working condition, as you can see. This, this is the rear nipple and the uh, adjustment bolt, of course. This is the housing for the spring, and the diaphragm is in this area here, the rubber diaphragm, which pulls on the piston, of course. Um, Shot from the other side, you can see the other side is equally clean on the front body and uh, equally stained on the back part. The flange also stained, but in very good working condition. And again to the front, so an HKS super sequential blow-off valve made in Japan, from Japan. Thank you. In order to serve you better, we have our website at www.japandino.com as well as our blog, the Japan Dino Daily Fix, where we feature items of special interest. Look forward to seeing you there.